Oh boy, I'm nervous for this one. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And yes, you did read that title right. Today, we're watching Euphoria. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here, especially you. Yes, you, hello, you. If you clicked on this video and you were sticking around for this intro, you are a real one. Thank you for those of you guys who stick around, who subscribe, who watch these movies and shows with me and who are considering watching Euphoria with me. I really appreciate it. You're part of my little crispy golden nugget community and you are so delicious and crispy and I really appreciate you. <laughs> I'm sorry for calling you delicious. That seems, I regret that decision. <laughs> and welcome if you are new. Hey, hi, how are you? If you like what you see here and you enjoy these kinds of videos, maybe consider clicking that little red button below to subscribe or maybe throwing this video a like so that I know because uh, this is definitely different than the kinds of content that I normally do. This is a show that I've wanted to watch for a really long time. Those of you guys who've been around on my channel for a while watching these movies and shows with me, y'all know that I like variety. Y'all know that um, I get bored when I stick with one genre for too long, but I definitely have steered away from certain shows or certain movies that I'm worried that maybe my core audience or most people in my audience won't really appreciate or like. And this year, one of my goals is to watch even more of a variety of content and things that I've maybe neglected in the past or not really allowed myself to watch in the past year. Um, this year, I've been trying to watch even more variety and even more things that have been on my list for a while. And Euphoria has been on my list since the moment it came out. I actually am really familiar with one of the actors in Euphoria. I mean, I, I think everyone's familiar with them at this point, but what I mean is I, I actually have worked with one of the actors who's in Euphoria, Sydney Sweeney. I've had the pleasure of working with her a lot. She's great. So I've wanted to watch this show for a while solely because I want to watch her in the show, but also because it's like a big cultural phenomenon at this point. I mean, all of Gen Z is obsessed with this show. Clearly everybody who went to Coachella <laughs> this year watches Euphoria. There was a lot of glitter uh, at the festival from the outfits that I saw online, but it definitely feels like something that I don't know if anyone in my audience would really be interested in watching. So I've kind of put it off for a while and now I just, feel like my soul needs me to watch this show. I've been putting it off for so long and I really am curious about what it's about, why people are talking about it so much, why it seems to have such a stronghold on so many people, at least in the United States or at least in the younger generation. I, I'm just really curious what this show is about. For those of you that do decide to watch this with me, I really appreciate it and I hope you have a good time watching it with me. I do have a Patreon page if you're new to my channel and you really love Euphoria and this is the first time you've ever seen any of my videos. Hi, welcome. Um, you can click the link in the description below to catch my full length reactions to episodes of Euphoria if that kind of thing interests you. They are posted in a watch along style format so you would just need your own copy to sync up along with me. I'm excited today to see more of Zendaya, see my girl Sydney and see all the other actors that make up this show, see what the art style is like. The wardrobe I've heard is really, really cool, so I'm excited about that. I've heard that season two is a little bit darker and has a mental health kind of vibe or tone to it. I mean, even season one could be about that. I just don't really know. I think the only thing I know about this is I'm pretty sure it takes place in high school. So yeah, it should be a fun ride and I'm excited to hop on into it. So if you guys are ready, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into Euphoria. Nine eleven. And three days after nine eleven. Whoa, very Gen Z. It's crazy to know there's a whole generation of people born after nine eleven. Plenty of great, intelligent, funny, interesting, and creative people have struggled with the same things you struggle with. Like who? Uh huh. Vincent Van Gogh. <laughs> Sylvia Plath. <laughs> And your favorite, Britney Spears. Oh, oh no, no, <laughs> oh, no! She thought she was, her mom really thought she was being supportive there. It's tough, it's tough. Uh-oh, oh no, kid, oh. I feel it's wrong. Rue, did you eat breakfast? No. 
<laughs> Moms always be asking if you ate breakfast. <laughs> My mom forced me to eat breakfast and I was like never hungry. I would try to sneak out and not eat breakfast. She always forced me. Uh, oh, that's what that is. Oh God, you're too young. You will never catch me raising a kid in LA because I would be worried they would grow up so fast. And then over time, that's all I wanted. Oh, it's like euphoria is like a the opposite <laughs> of what she's feeling. Well, so far the color scheme is already really interesting. This church is like pink purple. Are they all in slippers? Is this is like a rehab program. Ah, rehab, yep. Mm -hmm. Some new girl in town that I think you're gonna be friends with. She came in yesterday looking all Sailor Moon and shit. Looking all Sailor Moon and shit. <laughs> Just sort of like a dead-on observation for Fezco, who's not normally revolving in the same direction as planet Earth. <laughs> I like that she's narrating. I wonder if it's going to continue to be from her perspective this whole time. What, you think because I went to rehab, I stayed clean? I mean, ain't that the point? <laughs> oh, oh. I was like hopeful she would stay clean. I thought your ass was dead. Does this little kid have two face tattoos? India, so propyl 5 methoxytryptamine. It's a fast pack and it's like a dullet. That seems like a no. If you're in a bad mental state, you don't take psychedelics. Shit's been blowing up in Tampa and mad people like to fuck on it. Listen, if shit's blowing up in Tampa, that is a reason not to do it. <laughs> I don't know if I would, oh, I like the lighting too. The lighting has been really pretty. I don't know, bro. You know my mom is real OCD. She notices the smallest shit, a little scratch on the wall, the dishes are out of order. Fine, we'll just take a picture of everything. We'll put it back the way we found it. Never works out that way, bro. Don't do the it. fuck is this Mission Impossible? <laughs> That's another movie I haven't seen. It's Jules. Hey, yo, what up, B? Cool, <laughs> Come on, man. That's rude. Oh, man, you made... Ugh, rude. She's gonna go meet a random person for a drink. Honey, you're not even old enough for a drink. Oh God, this is stressing me out about the idea of having kids, man. Seriously, Maddie, the best thing to do after a breakup is to fuck someone new and then move on. Or just work on yourself. I mean, you're in high school. You could just focus on school. We're doing for dinner. Dad, stop being a pervert. We're literally like all naked. None of you are naked. That's mean. That's so mean to your dad. But also, yeah, he should not wait for a response before barging in. Uh... I want you to tell me where you were. I just said I was a fucking idiot. Don't be talking to me like that. You know what? I'm going to broadcast you. Don't be slamming no doors around here. The girl's going to be death of me. Oh. Gia, oh, she's like crying. I feel so bad for her sister. She just probably wants everyone to be happy and she knows it's back to normal. She knows it's back to the way Rue was before rehab. Most over-the-counter home drug testing oh. kits come with a heat sensor strip. Oh, really? And if your parents watch you pee. They, do they watch her pee? Does her mom watch her? Her mom is smart. Like for real, Lexi. What? Ah! Are you serious? Thanks. Damn, Lexi's a real one. Is this how she does it? Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, I guess she's just in the room with her. She doesn't literally watch her do it. Gia, Gia who absolutely idolizes you. I know, mom. To have her find you unconscious. Oh, she's the one that found her. Rue? Oh, we're going back in time to that moment. Oh, that's fucked. Oh, that's so fucked up. That's so sad. I know a lot of you probably hate me right now. That's really- I don't hate you, girl. I pity you. You're lucky that Lexi doesn't do drugs. Yeah, can I spend the night at Lexi's too? Oh. Yeah, that's fine. Are you actually gonna spend the night at Lexi's? Or are you gonna go somewhere else? Oh, that's Jules. Oh my God, what are you injecting? Although that could be medication. I think this actress is actually trans, so it, it could be that, but I don't really know. Oh, I'm nervous for her. She's going out to meet a stranger. I'm stressed for all these kids. I just was such a naive, like innocent person. I never snuck out. Uh, I don't know, some party or something. Some part, uh, you don't know. That's not an answer. That is not an answer. Just new town, be safe. Yeah, how about you drop her off at the party, sir? Be a good father. I don't like that. I don't like, no, no. This is, you parents are too naive. Why are none of you dropping your kid off at the party? Jules told me later what had happened. Something bad's gonna happen, oh no. Oh, they met at a motel. Honey, no. Whether I like her or not is irrelevant. The fact is she's a fucking whore through and through, bro. Whether you did her or not is irrelevant, okay. Smart, she's funny. 
This guy's so nice. Why do you hang out with these assholes? This guy is like, he deserves better friends, like better people around him. I like how they're all shirtless except for him too. It's like showing that he's different from all of them and like has more of a moral code. Like they're all shirtless and he's not. Shame the assholes who create password protected online directories of naked underage girls. So slut pages are where nudes get posted. That's sad. Oh, it is Sydney. Sydney! Who was that handsome young man who came over for dinner last night? Oh my night, God, huh? mom, star. Oh, McKay. So you're... Dating McKay. Okay, mom, I'm literally going to poison you in your sleep. I'm literally going to poison you in your sleep. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> if I said that to my mother, I'd be grounded so fast. <sighs> this woman's unfazed. So funny. You fuck her like the horse she is. You kick her ass to the curb. You're a jackass, Nate. You are a piece of scum. Shut y'all little virgin asses up, man. Y'all wouldn't even know what to do with that. Yeah, exactly. McKay is so nice. Anyway, I didn't go to Lexi's. That was a lie. Oh, it was a lie. Because I have this rule that I don't drink and bite, because, like... <laughs> the editing! The editing! Oh, that was funny. Yo, that's rude! Oh my god. Did it really, like, die? Oh my god, I hate ghosts. No, clearly not. It's not a ghost, you dumbass. Yo, Casper! Yo, Casper! Oh, thank you. Why, thank you! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I feel bad laughing when she's drunk. Like, it makes me sad, but it's also funny. Although, something leaves me feeling that Maddie's not driving sober. Oh, is that where Jules is? Is that the motel? Oh, are we cutting? <gasps> How old are you? Oh. 22. Lie. It's fucking pervert. Uh, no, I'm just uh, visiting my grandparents. Also a lie. Honey, what? stop saying these things. Tell him the truth. Tell him you're a kid. Oh, now we see him. Ah, uh, now we see him. I'm envious of your generation, you know. You guys don't care as much about the rules. You know, I think that's a good thing. You would. You would think that's a good thing. You're so clean. Ah. Uh, oh, God. This poor girl. I'm gonna cry. <sighs> Even the lighting there with her face being lit up like this. Oh, it was, oh, that was his phone and it was his kids and the wedding ring. Oh, God. Oh, ah! So much for a kid to go through. That's horrible. But Nate was fucking on one. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Maddie was fucking on one. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, they're just they're trying to make each other jealous. Oh, my God. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, and he's just leaving the girl he's with now. The girl's like, what the hell? Or, am I supposed to follow you? What the fuck? I'm just trying to get back at my really shitty ex-boyfriend. Oh, she's being honest. What if I told you that I wanted you to fuck me right here, right now? In the pool, ma'am! In front of everyone, ma'am? Ma'am. Oh my god. Oh, the spotlight. Whoa. What a choice. Cat, but Cat didn't answer because... Is Cat high as fuck? Cat wasn't approved, but she was a virgin. She told Jules that a week into summer school and when Cat saw her reaction. Bitch, this isn't the 80s. You need to catch a dick. No! <laughs> God, these kids, ah, I'm stressed. Uh, you're so young. <laughs> Although Jules is funny. I, I, Jules, I feel like this is not the place for you to come. You should have just gone home. I'm so concerned for you. Oh my God, I can't believe this is happening in the pool. Ma'am, it's in front of everybody. Oh my God. Yeah, that's real classy, you fucking whore. Suck my dick. Good for her. She doesn't let him get to her. I mean, she clearly does deep down, but. Okay, damn. Way to make it all about you, Nate. What are you looking at? Oh no, leave her alone. I'm Jules, I'm a friend of- You're a friend of a uh, friend of who's because you're not my fucking friend. Who the fuck are you friends with, Jules? Wow, you really think the world revolves around you, huh, Nate? Not everyone's your fucking friend. Anyone at all? You, do you know who the fuck Jules is? She was invited here by Kat, but Kat is downstairs. Oh, you're such a jackass. It's not even your house, Nate. I thought it was McKay's house. So I'll give you some fucking attention. She definitely does not want your attention. Yo, is anybody here friends with Jules? How the fuck is no one interfering right now? This is, how is no one stepping up? Yo, 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 no. You wanna fucking hurt me? He deserves to be threatened like this, to be quite honest. Yeah. Fucking idea. Oh, oh my God, girl. Oh my God, I'm worried for you. By the way, I'm Jules. Nice to meet you, Jules. I just moved here. <laughs> 
Damn, dude, I, these people suck at this high school. I can't believe no one was like, back off, Nate, you're being a dick. Are you okay? Uh, uh, yeah, it's fine. Thank you for asking, Rue. Where are you headed to? Home, probably. Yeah. Can I come with you? Oh, okay. <laughs> She's so forward. <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. All right, friendship, great. We love it. I just want a wholesome friendship. Come on. So far, the only people that have been giving me any wholesome vibes are like Fez and uh, McKay. Fez was right about them being friends, though. He's a good judge of character, you know? He may not be the brightest bulb, but he's he's pretty perceptive, I think. Are we going to see a glimpse of Nate's home life? That would be interesting. Like, why is he such a dickhead? Remember when I said things got weird? Uh-huh. <gasps> oh. My. God. Oh my 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 God. It's the guy from the motel. Oh my God. It's the guy from the motel. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, that's why he's a dick. His father's a despicable human being. I want to get high. <laughs> ah! Damn, these kids have problems, man. <laughs> It breaks my heart. Like that was so much for one episode. I really wasn't expecting all of that. When Nate Jacobs was 11 years old. Oh, narrating about Nate. He found his dad's porn collection. Oh. You can call me daddy. Papa Water. Wait, is it him? Is it his tapes? Oh, it's his stuff. Oh God. Oh, you need a key to get into this room. Dude, if my fucking husband had a room that you needed a lock and key to get into, if you needed a key to get into a room in my house, I'd be like, what the fuck are you hiding? You're gonna show me what you're hiding or I'm divorcing you. Cause that's fuck, that's fucking sketch. But no one in this world will ever root for you. Why? They'll see what I see and they'll despise you for it. They'll see what I see. So you're just trying to tell your son to be a tough, hard ass and be doggedly determined in everything he does, but be an asshole about it. Don't be vulnerable. Don't show a weakness ever. That's the lesson we're teaching him. That's great. He had adopted a rigid diet and workout. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's 12. In a year, his body fat dropped from 23% to- But he's, he's 12. He's a child. What do you mean to 8%? That's not a way you took to grow as a child. 8% is low. Football. Is he the quarterback? Yeah, he's the quarterback. Man, we really be shaming the quarterbacks in every movie and stuff, I feel like. But he hated being in the locker room. Uh, why? He hated how casual his teammates were about being naked. Oh, he had shame around it because of his experience as a child. Is he gay and just scared of that? Like... <laughs> the hyper focus on all the dicks. Okay, listen, I, I don't want to see this many dick and balls, and I'm straight. <laughs> there was nothing on planet Earth he hated more than body hair. Mm, I wouldn't want to be with a guy like this. My God, it would be obnoxious. I'm Jewish, like, I'm gonna have body hair. Get over it. Well, I'm glad we're getting a lens into Nate because that was literally what I was wondering about. Also, with the title of this episode, you kind of figure that's what it was gonna be. It was the first day of school. My heart was racing. Oh, first day after rehab, yeah. But you have a friend, a new friend. Yeah. Oh my God, she's like the opposite of Rue with her style. She's so girly and bright colors, pastels. I wanna get high. Oh, right, cutting back to this. Oh, the shit. The shit from the kid that said it was all the rage in Tampa. <laughs> I feel like this isn't a good idea. Kind of disagree. Okay, fuck it, let's do it. Oh my God, I'm worried about you kids. Oh, they took it. Oh, she just got transported to it. We did see a clip of this when the little kid at the store was talking about this drug. So I, I'm, I'm kind of happy that we are seeing this. Whoa, her face is covered in glitter. Whoa. <laughs> you guys are really close, okay. Can you grab me a towel? Oh, back to her overdose, back to her overdose. I need you to grab me a towel. What, let your other paramedic do it. Why are you, oh, she's just trying to get her sister out of there probably. She's like, grab me a towel because she's probably like, turn around and get out of this room. <laughs> probably trying to help her. Oh. It's actually a very narrow window of cool. It's not cool, really, Rue. It's not, especially at your age. It's so bad for your brain. You're developing until you're 25. Like, it's just so bad. I'll wait with you until your mother comes home. Oh, her mom wasn't, oh, her mom's not home yet. Gia. Uh, like everyone knows. I don't want to turn this into a competition. Uh-huh. But like, I win. 
don't want to deal with all the fucking questions. I still win. <laughs> I like, this is a good friendship already. She's like, stop wallowing in self-pity. I have it worse. <laughs> this is good. This is going to be a good friendship. Ugh, why does everybody think we fuck? Honey, you did you not? I'm pretty sure you did. While texting with Nate, Maddie had an idea. So she's acting like she didn't know that she did that? Yeah, I'm Ethan. He's gonna be a mass shooter. What, honey, what? He's just introducing himself. First thing that came to mind. That's so rude! He says, hey, I'm Ethan, and she just goes, please don't be a mass shooter. Like, what the fuck? I don't know, what's your Reddit username? Oh, does he have Reddit? Um, it's Incel Uprising. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a joke, honey. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> this is the beginning of a really awkward friendship. She's so mean, but like, I don't think she realizes it. She's like one of those girls who just puts her foot in her mouth. A five minute story about your summer. Oh, come on. Rue has to do this? Oh, no. That seems a bit much, man. Oh, <laughs> that can't be real. I'm sure the spotlight is in her head, but I like that touch. Release the tension. Dude, she's gonna start crying. Oh, she's thinking about this moment. Of course she is, about the effect it had on her sister. She probably can't think about anything else. Like in a situation like this, it's just so tough because being this vulnerable around like other high school classmates about this situation, like it's just, it's not a safe space to share this in, you know? It's just gonna be spread around school and like then you just opened up and were vulnerable and it gets thrown back in your face. Just tell us a specific memory. Mrs. Applegate, you are traumatizing this child. Oh, she's gonna cry. Oh, no. I don't have tissues. <laughs> I know this is a mistake I frequently make, but it legitimately ran out. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, no. That's so sad. That's so sad. I like that we're seeing it like interspersed with all their happy moments too though, because it makes the pain hit harder when you see all the happiness that's also in this house and all the love. Oh. Do I have to do this? She's a mess, dude. Honestly, I bet it's brain damage. Oh, shut the fuck You're up. Being fucking rude. Yeah, thank you. That was that's the girl that peed for her, right? Her old best friend. Mrs. Applegate's also a bad teacher. <laughs> like you can't you can't see the trauma in this girl's body. Rude, it's me. Lexi, that's her name. Are you okay? Aww. You're so fucking stupid, Lexi. Huh? Well, you're like one of my best friends. Give me a fucking break. Because we went to fucking preschool together. Wow. Rue. Rue, you're being so mean. Lexi's trying. Lexi really is trying. Yeah, I miss you. Oh, that was the guy that he, she, Maddie hooked up with in the pool. Wait, is Nate, is Nate posting up and watching him? Nate. Oh no, oh no, Nate, oh no, oh no, oh dude. I don't know what your name is, blonde boy, but you better run, I'm terrified for you. Coda doesn't like Nate either. Oh, it's a video of her. He took a phone video. Poor baby, no. And what sucks is it's like, so many kids at school are like in situations like that and having sex with each other. And But like, because you got caught on video and it's being spread around, everyone's talking about you and making fun of you and calling you names. But there's a recording of you. Oh, and like, yeah, we're gonna blame her when clearly she wasn't the one filming it. Like she had any control over that. Like, what would she even do in this situation? Just out of sheer curiosity, what could have possibly led you to believe that it was? Oh yeah, did you watch it? And I haven't personally seen the video. Oh, okay. Okay, Principal Hayes. On the video is fat, Principal Hayes. <gasps> oh, she's bold. Oh, wow. She really pulled out the, the st all the stops. <laughs> he doesn't know where to go for me. <laughs> I, I can't apologize enough. <laughs> He's like, oh, I shouldn't have brought it up. I will do everything in my power to put an end to this rumor. Thank you, Principal Hayes. I feel like even if it was her, like this is so ridiculous that like the principal, would the principal pull you in and try to like talk to you about it? That seems so inappropriate. It clearly wasn't her filming the fucking video. Could like come over Sunday night because my mom's like asking. <gasps> oh, his, her mom wants her to come over. Aw. Are you talking to your mama about me? Aw. 
Oh, look at this. Fr ah! Ah! I feel like becoming best friends with somebody truly is like a new relationship, like a courtship starting, you know? It's like this magical moment where you're like, oh my God. Oh, I'm such a loser. <laughs> she embarrassed? What, do you like her, like her? Oh, she's not home. She went to this kid's house. Oh my God, this kid is just manufacturing pills in his house? Jesus, this, what is he, like eight? Who is this kid? You gotta get up out of my house right now before these motherfuckers come through. Oh no, who, who's coming through? Oh my God, oh my God, what, what? I could fucking kill you right now. Huh? Oh, Rue, Rue, you're so stupid. Just stay right there, keep your mouth shut, and be cool. Can't she just hide somewhere? No, I'm not gonna lie, that's when I started to get a little scared. Yeah, he tried to warn you. Oh, the blonde guy. Is this Nate tracking him again? Yep. Oh God, a screwdriver? Oh God. Dude, no fucking way is this your weapon. No. Or is he, oh, he's gonna go break into the house. He's not gonna kill him with a screwdriver. Oh, okay. I'm like worried this guy's gonna die, man. I'm worried Nate is about to murder somebody. I've been watching a lot of true crime, okay? It's kind of affecting me. My name is Mouse. Oh, uh, your, your name is Mouse? You know, that's what happens when you hang out with drug dealers. Well, yeah, and he did tell you to get the fuck out, Rue. Sure, you don't want no fan off? Nah, man, I'm cool off that shit. Good man, Fez. At least you're not doing that. At least you're not selling that. What about you, little sis? You ever try fentanyl? Oh, no. Nah, she's good, bro. Yeah, she's good. Oh, God. I don't know. <gasps> don't look at him. Look at me. Oh, my God. Yeah, you made a mistake being here. Don't do it, Rue. Oh, my God. Rue! What, you don't trust me? No, I don't trust you. It's also on your knife. I don't want that. Rue, don't do it. Rue. Just please, God, I'm begging you. Do not let me die. Oh. Rue. Oh my God, this is episode two. This is episode two and we're doing fentanyl off knives and stalking men with a screwdriver. This is episode two. Oh, he is- Welcome home. Fuck. Hi, Tyler. Oh, Tyler's his name. Hi, Tyler. <laughs> I'm the boyfriend of the girl that you raped on Saturday night. He didn't rape her. She just lied. She's like 18. Try 17. You shouldn't be partying at high school parties, Tyler. You're a grown ass man. And how old are you? Probably like 21. Like 21? You're 22. 22. Oh, he's crying. He's already crying. Nate, get the fuck out, you creep. Get on your knees. Get on your knees. Oh, he's, is he gonna hurt him a different kind of way? What is he gonna do? Oh, no, he's punching him. Okay. <laughs> Jesus, Nate. Jesus, man. Oh, God. Oh, God. Back to Rue. Okay. 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 Man, a lot is going on in this episode. Oh, my God. I'm worried about Rue dying and being addicted to fentanyl now. Yo, Mouse, let me pay for it, man. Fez is trying to, is trying to protect her. Fez. Fez is such a good guy. He doesn't want to see her get... It'll cost you 600 now, man. Oh, fuck off! God, this guy's such a fucking piece of shit. You drug a minor against her will while threatening her with a weapon. You assault her by taking her pants off. And then you steal 600 fucking dollars from a kid. From two kids. Fucking piece of shit. Fez really tried to kick her out. We couldn't have hit her in a room. We couldn't have hit her in a room somewhere off. She had to stay in the living room for this shit, man. Damn. Oh, Fez really tried his best, man. Fez is such a good guy, despite the fact that he's dealing drugs. <laughs> he's a really good drug dealer. <laughs> Was this Nate showering off the crime he just committed? <gasps> at Tyler's house? He's doing this all at Tyler's apartment. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I am so scared. I am so, oh my God, that, the way that was shot from his perspective on the floor was so unsettling because we couldn't really tell where Nate was. I thought he was gonna like stomp at his head. I'm just worried for Tyler. A gun! No, an umbrella. <laughs> Why did I? God, I've been watching way too much true crime shit, man. Oh no, she's there. It's the internet, it's the internet, babe. There's no way to wipe it completely. Oh, she's seeing the validation of her. All these like comments about her. No, girl, you're a child. You are 17. Why the fuck are none of these kids at home doing homework? Literally, they're all just out. Where are these parents? Like, where are the parents? Oh, cut to, oh, Jules. I can't remember if Shy Guy is Nate's dad or not. I feel like it is. 
Oh, whoa, that was trippy as fuck. Doing the pan around the room and seeing her in a new location. Oh my god, I can't, what's happening? Tyler? <laughs> ah! Oh my god! Ah! Wait, okay. Oh my god, I have so many questions. So I guess the she's texting with a guy who just has photos of his abs. But I wonder if he knows he's talking to Jules or not. Like, I wonder if there's photos of her face on there or if he has no idea who he's talking to. Because if he knows who he's talking to, is this all like an elaborate plan to like hurt her? Because he already threatened her life at the party. And if not, then it's, it's all, either way, it's scary. Either way, it's just really scary. When Kat was 11 years old, she went on a family vacation to Sandals, Jamaica. Man, Rue knows shit about everyone. She narrated in everybody's life. But fucking loved virgin pina coladas. <laughs> I was a strawberry daiquiri girl myself. The only thing that was like actually amazing was Daniel. Who's Daniel? Her crush? The kind of boy that would text her every night before bed and say, Oh. Sweet dreams. Uh oh. You gonna break her heart, Daniel? Just to make sure he could hold her hand as they walked down the hall. Oh! No, that's really cute. Oh, Daniel, you gonna break her heart? When she returned, she weighed in at a whopping. Oh, is she going through puberty or something? I mean, I know you could gain weight, but that is a lot of, I mean, oh, oh, poor baby. I went through this one like later in life because I went through puberty kind of late and I remember it was like jarring my body all, I mean, she might not be because she's pretty young, but I remember it was really traumatizing experience at 15 to just gain a bunch of weight. Oh, and he's gonna judge her for it? Am I two sweatshirts? Oh. He liked her for whatever reasons he liked her, and 20 stupid pounds would never change that. Oh, I hope not. I really hope not. Until fourth period. Ah! Oh, no! That is so heartbreaking, man. In, in class, in class, no! That's so sad. Dude, somebody broke up with me after math class and then I had to go to another class after and it was really hard. <laughs> I like cried a lot on the walk to the next class and then I calmed myself down and had to compartmentalize. Oh, is she watching Gilmore Girls? Oh, True Blood! <laughs> I love that show! Oh my God, all the romantic stuff. Cat, you baby. You're, you're too young anyway. Oh, is she on Tumblr writing like fan fiction or something? Yeah. She had become one of the most prolific smut writers on Tumblr. <laughs> I didn't really read smut or write smut, but I feel like her and I would have been friends. I did read Twilight. It's kind of close. This girl needs another hobby too. But I mean, listen, and no nothing wrong with writing. I mean. When suddenly he felt the press of Harry's body from behind. Oh. This is hilarious. This is hilarious. To calm your nerves. To calm your nerves. <laughs> psychedelic artwork of him climaxing. This is hysterical. <laughs> oh my God. Cat has a vivid daydreaming kind of imagination. I really, I really do vibe with Cat a lot so far. I'm not gonna lie. And they did see what she looked like. And they still loved her. Yeah. I mean, listen, she deserves to have that confidence, but also you are too young to be cam girling, ma'am. You are too young, way too young. You don't know what you're doing. You're putting something out on the internet that you can't take back ever. Like smut is one thing, you're writing. Like it's it's one thing. This is like, you're too young. Hey, I'm Rue, I'm an addict. Oh, these meetings. And I've been clean for 60 days. And that's a lie. For disappearing for like 16 hours. I was wondering where her mama was. Oh, I'd be fucking worried sick, man. Bro, are you, are you okay? Oh, 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 Gia, I hope Gia, oh, baby. If you want to drug test me, just drug test me. Wow, okay, bet. <laughs> she wasn't the only person upset with me. Jules, yeah, I would be upset too. Trying to become best friends with someone who's gonna fucking kill themselves. Yeah. Yeah, she really didn't mean to do it, but still, she put herself in that situation. I don't want to be around you if you don't stop piecing jokes. That's fair. That's really fucking fair. It's funny because Fez said the same. Fez basically was like, I don't want you to, you know. He didn't say the same kind of ultimatum to her, but he did kind of say this to her. And her family says this to her, but like Jules is the one who like, oh, are you going to get pee from her? Really? Oh, God. I didn't know it at the time, but Jules was falling in love. Oh, with the shy guy? 
This is cool. Oh God, this isn't cool. <laughs> the way they executed this is cool, but I really don't like who she's talking to. So do they not know they're talking to each other? I know Jules doesn't know she's talking to uh, Nate, but I wonder if Nate has seen her photo or if he just doesn't know who he's talking to either. <sighs> when did you start transitioning? LOL. I didn't mean to be too... He must know who he's talking to. Oh, this is this is crazy. Having them split the screen like this. Oh my God, I'm so stressed. Oh, you can not see her. Oh, he knows who he's talking to. He knows. He knows it's her. Okay, okay, okay. He knows. He's baiting her. He's doing something. He's got something sinister planned. I'm just saying I really, really, really like him. Oh no, no. His name is Tyler. It's not. It's not. They're both little fuckboy names. That's true. I mean, I'm dating. I'm with a Tyler. He's not a fuckboy, but his real name is William, so that's why. <laughs> Some people are really in okay. Some people are into that. Cat, dinner. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Ma'am, cat, shut off the laptop. Your mom is coming. Why? She's filming her feet. Later. Dinner's on the table. Oh my God, oh my God. Uh, so, wow, dude, if I walked in and my daughter was filming her feet like that, I'd be like, no, I'm confiscating the phone. There is no way that is for like a TikTok trend. That is for something disgusting. Literally the last thing I need. She gonna look at his phone. Who keeps texting you? No, I'm just calling later. Mmm, she getting sus. She getting suspicious. I bet Maddie's gonna find the texts and then like blast it all over school that they've been texting each other or something. Something's gonna happen. Friday and Saturday night. Wait, is your mom gonna let you go? Uh-oh. Whoa, the sound design is having all the, the dialogue fade out more like in her head. That's cool. Up front. Do any of you guys know how Bitcoin works? Ma'am, just use PayPal. It's a worldwide cryptocurrency. This little dude! Um, unless it's human trafficking. I don't fucking human trafficking. That's fair. Good, good, good. I'm happy you have a line in the sand <laughs> where you don't cross. I actually trust these guys. I feel like you could tell them anything and they would keep it a secret for you. Can I ask you something? Mm. How'd you survive that OD? I mean, somebody had to save your life, right? Yeah, your sister found you. Now you just got me thinking about what that does to a 13-year-old, a 13-year-old kid. Oh, is he telling her all this because he could tell that she wasn't sober and he's trying to maybe... Just like you're gonna have to make peace with the fact that you could be responsible for some shit like that and then get up in front of a whole group of people who are struggling with the same issues mm -hmm. and lie about being clean. Mm. You're playing pool with Minnesota Fats. Who is Minnesota Fats? The greatest motherfucking pool player that ever lived. Oh. He's like, I'm calling you out on your bullshit. I know. I know you're not sober. Let me know when you want to stop trying to kill yourself. You need some pancakes. I need some pancakes. <laughs> is he going to take her out for pancakes? This guy's cool. <laughs> Man, he's a straight shooter. He, he's like, he got straight to the point very efficiently. And guilt tripped her at the same time. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay. Oh, she's got a Skype call with this guy in five? That's what he was wiring her money for? Damn, man. What are you, how are you gonna do this with your parents in the house? What happens if your mom wants to talk to you? What are you gonna do? Also, who Skypes anymore? I'm really excited to meet you. Uh-huh, you don't know, but she is not 18 or over, bro. I am gonna warn you. I'm kind of an odd duck. Uh-huh. You want to see something? I don't know. I don't know. Well, what are you laughing at? Oh, no, no. I, Have you ever I, seen I, a penis this small before? Oh, oh my God. No, no, no. It, it, it's not small. It's not small. Don't lie to me. He likes He likes it. He likes Okay. Come on. Tell me you never fucked me. I, 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 I wouldn't. I, I really wouldn't. <laughs> tell oh. me I'm a pathetic loser with a baby dick. <laughs> You want me to make fun of you? Yes, yeah, she he likes it clearly, but I don't I So you do anything I tell you. Queen, I do anything you want. Uh-oh. She's going to get drunk off of this power and demeaning people because she's kind of been demeaned for her weight and stuff for so long. I think she's going to derive confidence from this. And I want you to punish me when I cheat. Punish you like how? I want you to find me. He wants to train her to be a dominatrix. Find her? <laughs> And within minutes, a hundred dollars in Bitcoin was transferred to her. In Bitcoin, honey, save it. <laughs> Actually, maybe cash out. Depends on what time of year. <laughs> the mom. <laughs> but don't you dare get pregnant. Relax, mom. He has a roommate. Oh, is she going to spend the night at college with him? Wow. 
My mom would never fucking let, allow that. Oh, this is Maddie with Nate. Okay. Oh, she's she's really thinking about who's texting him. She is just thinking about that phone. That is, she's totally gonna look. She's gonna look. There it goes. Oh, she knows his passcode. Oh boy, you shouldn't have shared it. Oh, there, she's seeing all the dick pics that he didn't send her. Yep, honey, you got played. Although I don't know. I can't tell if, I don't know if he likes Jules or if he's trying to humiliate her personally. I just don't trust him. I think he's a shady motherfucker. Yeah, it's a college party. Oh, it's a frat. Oh God. Oh no. I've had some bad experiences at frats, man. Oh, McKay, oh no. Oh no, I would be so nervous to be here at this party without anyone else besides my boyfriend and he's going through this and we don't know anyone else here at this party. Oh, they're chugging four locos. Oh, that'll kill you. That's fun. Yeah, good job, McKay. Wait, does that mean that guy's kicked out? Do you just get kicked out when you... Oh no, that happens to... Oh, the last one to finish get stripped naked. I thought they all had to get stripped naked regardless. I didn't realize. No, no! Of course it's still fucking alive. No! No, 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 no. No, this is fucked up. Don't join the frat, McKay. You don't need to join the frat. She gonna do it? She gonna do it with him? Follow her lead. What is she gonna do? Spit the fish out? No, she just literally- Bitch in the fucking game, yo! She, she swallowed the fish. <laughs> ah! Why are we tormenting goldfish? I hate frats. I hate frats. I hate frats. Are they gonna throw- They're gonna throw up later. They're gonna throw up a live fish later. I wanna try a few things on. Okay. Be quick. The way he was eyeing her, ooh. He was eyeing her weirdly, I don't know. Oh, I guess it's like a, a sex clothing kind of store, so maybe that's why, but still, I don't know. Oh, is he gonna, is she gonna ask for his opinion? Um, can I ask your opinion on something? <laughs> Look at her, she getting confident. I kinda like that, but she's just young. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> oh, okay, thank God, thank God, thank God, thank God, thank God. Oh, she hasn't even tried anything on yet. Wow, she didn't, <laughs> that was all in her head. <laughs> Listen, I'm all about confidence and empowerment, and, but she's just a baby. <laughs> she's not 18. Unless she is, I don't know. I mean, I guess you could be a senior, but I think she's a junior. Just babies. She does look amazing. I do love that outfit. Look at her. She's walking with a newfound confidence. Tyler wants to be. Wait, for real? Oh no. Oh no. Like it at night? Of course, yeah. Of course. Aren't you a little scared of meeting of somebody you've never met before at night alone at a lake? Too much Dateline. No, I think Rue watches just enough Dateline. Meet him at the carnival, like in public. Uh-huh. His mom is super conservative. Oh. Like a tough situation, it doesn't work. Honestly, Jules, I don't really care about the situation. She's trying to protect you. It just doesn't seem safe. Yeah. I've been in situations that are way less. But that's not a good reason to keep doing unsafe shit. Yeah, you can meet at a Starbucks in a different town or something. Out of everyone in the world, I wanted to tell you. She's gonna make it about that. Uh, I know Jules just wants somebody to share in her excitement with her, but it's, I understand Rue's fears, I do. And I know part of it might be that Rue is jealous, but I'm sure that most of it is stemming from a sincere place of just concern and love for her friend. I would be concerned, man. That's terrifying. You don't know who you're meeting. Hey, um, I don't wanna fight with you. Oh. <sighs> oh, Rue, oh, Rue, oh. I know that sigh. I just, I don't want anything bad to happen to you. That's how she felt about you and doing drugs. <laughs> You're a mess, you know that? So are you. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. I'm sorry. Oh no. I'm sorry, I should go. Oh no, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Oh, this is like such a relatable story. Oh God, oh God, oh God. And she just ran out. She just ran out before Jules could say anything. Not today, Rue, sorry. No, Rue, don't do, don't do. She's trying to run away from her feelings and use drugs so she can run away. I'm begging you just to open the door. Don't you know you make your living off of selling drugs to teenagers? Because he cares about you. There's a difference. You're a fucking dropout drug dealer. Don't talk to him like that. He's a good man. He cares about you. But she's just crashing and she wants to use. So she's going to say whatever she can to try to get him to give her drugs. If you gave a shit about me, you wouldn't have sold me the fucking drugs in the first place. Well, he didn't know you'd get addicted and you'd become friends. Oh, Fez is so strong. Look at him. He's so strong. 
What is she? Oh, God. Who is she calling? Oh, no. Does she have that drug dealer's card? No. No. No, 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 no. Oh, it's Ali. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Oh, thank God. I was so terrified. I thought there was like a moment when she was ODing on fentanyl in the last episode where that guy gave her a card or something. I couldn't remember. And I was like, holy fuck. Like, oh, no. Is she calling him? But oh, thank God. It was Ali. <laughs> thank God. The pancake man. Whoo. Well, guys, that's all I have for you in this video. So far, I'm really enjoying this show a lot. It's definitely really well made. The acting is stellar. The emotional moments that I'm seeing are really just heartbreaking and sweet. I'm really loving the cinematography too. I think they're playing around a lot with the shots and the editing and the way things flow together. It feels like a dance. It's interesting, I think, also having the choice for Rue to narrate the whole series. And I'm wondering if that's going to continue throughout the entire show. I would assume so, because at this point, it's already been three episodes and she's been narrating the whole thing. And I kind of like that because it's interesting to see the fourth wall be broken frequently. That's not something we get a lot in shows with this kind of material. So it's been a fun, playful thing to see characters break the fourth wall repeatedly and look into the camera a lot. Damn, these kids are just going through shit though. My God, like going through so much intense things and it's just breaking my heart. But I think the actors are really doing a great job with their performances. I'm curious to see where this next half of the season goes, where the second season goes, because I've heard the second season is even more intense. And I don't really know how that's possible. Quite honestly, I'm like, what's going to happen? Is someone going to die? Because like, <laughs> that's the only way <laughs> I could feel like season two would be more intense is like people are dying. <laughs> so far, we're exploring everything else, which is like pornography, drugs, overdoses, hate crimes against trans people, fragile human beings being manipulated and taken advantage of and abused. I mean, like, I think the only place that could get worse is if we just if somebody dies. So <laughs> yeah, definitely curious to see what happens. But uh, it's definitely really well made. And I'm enjoying it so far for what it is. And I hope you guys are enjoying going on this journey with me. If you do like these kinds of videos, make sure to give this one a thumbs up so that I know that you want to see more content like this in the future. Of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to check out next and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.